What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. No, I work here. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. we said we was going to wait? Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. Oh, I don't Ichabod need your help, Big B. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind I'm to fire the boat of you. The woodsman. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Yo, I don't like this dude. He talking to us all types of do crazy. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Hey, I'm gonna I'm tell him what it is. You know what? Stop. Nah. We'll get on it right away, sir. Oh, she stopped me. She trying to stay level-headed. I was about to call him an asshole. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Um, he gets a morning massage? Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. You know what? Who, who, what is that? Buffkin! Hello, Miss I don't Snow. know who that is. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Ichabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Who cares? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Eh, I'm not great. I'm not gonna be mean to the little creature. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Okay, Buffkin's helpful. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Yo, mirror, mirror. I really have to get this appointment <sighs> squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Yo, it's all Hi. kind of stuff up in here. Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi. 
All right, yeah, first let's I talk to the uh, the Aladdin genie. Worth a try. That didn't work. Yes, that's right. All right, mirror, mirror on the wall. Mm -hmm. Who is the fresh? Okay, I'm not supposed to do that. No. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two <laughs> seconds a away from taking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, I need to know the woodsman because I really don't know any. Uh, I don't know her name. Uh, I don't know what to pick. Hold on, give me two seconds. Buffkin. I don't know what his fable is. Yo, uh, I'll go with the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. I don't know anything about this dude. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. All right, I want to know about Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey, okay, put down the there. bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. I thought it was going to get us stories out of fables because I don't really know a lot. What about a girl that got her name. chopped off? Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Yeah, that was mad, mad. All right, let's talk about Snow. What's she doing over there? Let's see if she uh doing Show something she's not way. supposed to be. Not much of a request. She's in <laughs> this very room. Hey, I just want to look at her. All right, let's. Nobody let's... right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Okay, so this or mirror is gonna be else. handy. Okay. We're gonna need to use that mirror at a later date, that's for sure. Oh, son, he can't handle the books, though. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. She with the okay. Let's take we'll a look. Start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Oh, so they don't know everybody that really lives in this community. Okay, this is Snow White and the Dwarves. They look mad crazy. something that looked like old girl though oh, that's cool hopefully they tell me the story behind these people now okay let me let me check out the woodsman hi buddy the woodsman yep and his axe okay a little red riding hood yeah, the two of them <laughs> i wonder what the story was okay who's this I don't know all these. I mean, I ain't read all this. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Let's look at Judo. You're getting warmer. But that's me. My bad. Yeah. Dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Okay, that's me. Is this me? <laughs> me. Okay. Who's that? I've seen this before. This symbol the on the man's clothes. It's That's the on the same ring. as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. All right. We get to the bottom of this show. I wasn't done looking at that, but whatever. The 
book of symbols, okay? I don't see the symbol nowhere. That's not it. Let's keep it pushing. There it is. There it is. There it is. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. We need a translator. Yeah. You speak Spanish? We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. <laughs> the story ass of skin. donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Deceased, okay. Dang. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah, we're gonna have to check out Prince Faith. Lawrence. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her name we was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Never know. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Alright. Alright, I don't really think we need to look anymore. Oh wait, let's see if... Let's see if he's in here though. seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Yo, we gonna run this joint. The pigs Alan and his brothers. Beast. Nice hat. So is it time to go? Yo, let me go talk to the mirror and see if he knows where. Princes. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Prince Lauren. Lawrence. Yo, Faith. Show me. Faith first. Show I want to. I want to see the girl that died. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Oh wow, that's what she kept saying. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Okay, what about her dad? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh, he's dead. 
guess that crosses him off the suspect list. All right, Prince Lawrence. It's Prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he, he been dead doing? Man. He looked like he. That looked like a. Where is this? Where's homicide, what? suicide. Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Let's go. Let's get it. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Mm. Sorry. Well, should we answer it? That. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh. Boy, shit. Hey! Yo, we gotta go, what man. I think he's about to. Or try to say, kill Toad. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Really? It's going on Whenever right now, he's gonna wait? Okay. Let's go, but... I felt like we should have went to check out Toad first. We could have caught somebody red-handed over there. It's a bad detective decision right there. All right. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? She asked some questions I can't answer. I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? I said we go to Toad's first. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. The frog or the prince? I chose the frog, alright? <laughs> 